Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy Terrence Pounds back with another crypto investment video. This time it's on 202020 fund. This is going to be live streamed and you can watch this now. I think that's what I was thinking when I did like this little stuff or like almost like that home alone thing, but I didn't, it didn't go too well, but it looks cool on the thumbnail. But folks, 202020 fund. Now, you know, folks, that this is another project that I've been in since day one. That's how I get down. That's how I'm able to come and tell you that, folks, I've been in this project since the day it launched. Now, 202020 fund has been around for almost five months. Hmm. Strong, right? That's an eternity in this space. Things don't seem to last, right? But 2020 fun has last. And today I have a special guest here today. And this is Eric Majors. And you may have met Eric on one of my other nightly shows. And Eric Majors just so happens to be the trader or one of the traders at Arbor Trading Systems. And folks, little did I know, he's been training for 2025. And so when Eric and I connected, I was like, man, this is pretty dope. I need to bring you back on the show. And I know how things are in this space, folks. You know, everybody doesn't know everything that's going on behind the scenes. And it doesn't mean anything that just because you don't know, um, the question is, are you paying? And that's what most of us want to know. And some of you on here on the call, I know you're in 2020 20 fund. I know you've been getting paid for four or five months if you splashed in it when I splashed in it. And so just some, a little more clarity, I'm super excited. And so folks, I'm not going to get into 2020 20 fund. I'll do a brief overview on the end. And most of you have seen it a thousand times because I've been in it for five months, but I really wanted to introduce you to uh, Eric Majors today and allow him to have some floor time with you. Now, Eric, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make you co-host on here. And sir, the floor is completely yours, Eric. And thank you for coming out tonight. All right, hey, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, I do think it's funny that uh, I'm doing the Amber and then uh, you're in the 2020. <laughs> and uh, I trade for a lot of different funds. Um, not mostly in a space, but mostly in an institutional side. But this is uh, the 2020 fund is one that I am involved with as a trader. Um, I don't work on the front end or any of that. So I'm not familiar with um, with all that. But uh, what I wanted to share with you guys tonight is um, really, you know, a few things here. Let me share my screen with you, first of all. And... Uh, that's my website, ericmajors.com. So on my website, you can find my bio and everything. If you click there, just we, we're already doing my website right now. But, you know, it has my biography on here and has the different projects that some of the different projects that I've been involved with. Um, I have books on there. If you click on uh, my books in here, um, then you can, you know, get to the books page here. So I've written a lot of books on trading. I've been trading since 1988. I'm 53 years old. Uh, traded in every market. This is the first book I wrote was on technical uh, uh, analysis, uh, but this is a really good book, just still relevant today. I redid it in 20, uh, 2005, but um, it talks about the psychology of trading and then it gets deep into analytics. And this is a book that I wrote about uh, cryptocurrency and also uh, a means to give everybody a basic income. There, there are actually ways to do that right now without the government being involved. And uh, this is another book that I wrote on dealing with loss, and that's not necessarily financial loss, but it could be. Um, and then here's a book on dot money, because this project, this book actually spawned a project in the crypto space. Um, some people actually wanted to implement it. So we did a, a full blown uh, implementation of that. And that led to this um, project here called dot money. If you go to dot money dot uh, TV, you can look at some of the commercials on that and look at what what is dot money. So it's basically a project to enable people to get uh, a monthly uh, income, but it's still under under works right now. So I don't want to talk to you guys uh, about tonight. What I'd like to share with you is um, in all the years I've been trading, obviously I've, I've learned a lot of tricks. I've also traded Forex and, and all those things. And um, But about two and a half years ago, 
I started working in um, cryptocurrency and um, well, I've been working on cryptocurrency since 2014 as, a, as part of the trading and stuff that I do. But I, I was I put on to something about two and a half years ago when it comes to liquidity pools and trading. And so liquidity pools are basically, um, uh, I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of detail about this. And the reason I'm not is because I actually have a course on it. It's at toptraders.pro. And uh, I'll drop a link into the um, into the uh, the chat on here um, so that you guys can can get a link to that course. But um, the reason I made this course after all these years is as a, as a professional trader, I've traded for institutions and stuff. Um, there wasn't really anything that I could share with people that I didn't feel like was going to cause them to like me handing them a gun that they can blow their head off with. I mean, most of the trading that I did was either um, uh, trading on margin, which is a quick way to lose money for if you're not good at trading and you don't know how to trade. And most of the trading I've done is um, based on automated trading systems. My background's in engineering. So we write software that automatically trades. And at the institutional level, these aren't just trading systems that I could give to people. They're, they're typically not being traded on funds that they can get access to. They're not they're not retail funds that just ordinary people can invest into. They're institutional funds that that are being traded for large institutional investors or large private money funds. So my point is that there isn't really any anything that I could do. People would say, well, trade for me. You know, um, I can't really do that. I, most people don't have enough money for me to trade for them. You know, you'd have to have um, a lot to make it worth it for me to do that. But I put together this course because um, I, cryptocurrency, with the advent of cryptocurrency, there are all these ecosystems from which you can earn fees from other people trading. And I was familiar with that when it, when it first came out, but I never really took a close look at it until I came across a fund that was actually trading um, you know, you know, earning its income by participating into the different ecosystems where you can actually earn uh, in cryptocurrency based on the trading of other people or whatever activities they were doing on smart contracts. So, so I, I got so excited about this that, that it was um, something that everybody can do. Most people don't have any clue that it exists <laughs> and they have no clue how much money you can actually make in it. And so I made this course because if you were to just go out and research it yourself, you might conclude, well, you know, I can only make uh, maybe three or four percent a month. Not very interesting. But the truth is that if you just practice it, you know what you're doing. Um, like in my course, you can learn how to do it within within uh, 24 hours. So um, my point is that this is easy enough for people to learn how to do. You learn. So I have a course that teaches you how to do it. And that is what I trade at an institutional level now for the last two and a half years. So what that looks like is that we write software to automate some of the stuff so that even though you can successfully go in here, you can sign up for the course and learn the underpinnings of what I'm doing. And you can trade yourself. You can make about 5% a month, 10% a month without having to look at your computer all day long. Um, with my my crew and I, we, we do you know, 10, 15, 20, 30% a month average about 15% a month back to clients. Okay. And it's not wizardry. Okay. It's not having to knowing anything about where the price of cryptocurrency is going or anything like that. It's strictly earning fees off of everybody else's trading. Okay. So what I want to share with you about that, we call these things liquidity pools. And if you were to sign up for my course, I'm just going to show you some videos from there because I think it's the easiest way for me to explain how we trade. Um, so I have a quick start if you don't know anything about cryptocurrency, like how to put your wallets on and all. But then in the um, liquidity pool course here, and I'm not saying this is just simple. I'm just saying anyone can do it, but you're not going to necessarily earn as much. You know, I can just do it better than you can. So that's why we, we uh, trade in these funds. But I want to quickly pull up one of the videos that's in here. This course is all about just has videos in it. And um, I'm going to try to enlarge this and mute it. And what this is, is this is when I first um, discovered liquidity pools. I knew about them, but I didn't know how much money you could make in them. And so uh, what would happen was I was working for a hedge fund, trying to do an administrative piece of software for them on a project. And I went up to one of the traders. I said, what do you guys trade? 
And normally they, they can't really tell me anything, but he said, oh, I can show you what we trade because it's not proprietary. It's public, public stuff. I said, great, show me. So he goes, let me give you an example. So he sat down at his desk and he, he threw a million dollars from the fund or the 990,000 from the fund into a pool, a liquidity pool, and it just started earning money. And I was just sitting here watching this and I was just like, this is amazing. You know, um, you know, I, I, you know, he showed me how some, some things that about how to adjust the range and all this stuff. But I just want to quickly accelerate this video for you. I asked him, I said, well, can you, can you make me a video of this? You know, can you screenshot this for me? And he said, I mean, I said, can you give me a screenshot of some of this? He says, I'll make you a video of it. <laughs> so this is literally that video from two and a half years ago that the guy made for me. And I was so shocked by it. And what it is in this video, this is a time lapse. I've speeded it up here, but this is, so I'm going to step through this real quick here. But this is sort of a time lapse um, video of 17 minutes in time when this guy put 990,000 into this liquidity pool on a decentralized exchange. And watch how much he earned in these fees. These fees right here, these unclaimed fees are the fees that he is earning from the trading of other people who are trading Ethereum and USDC. So without these uh, these liquidity pools, Uniswap and all the big exchanges cannot function, PancakeSwap. So I'm gonna just step through this to make it quicker. I didn't make my, my time lapse fast enough in here, but um, I'm stepping through the video right now and trying to get to, so, just showing here, this is the amount that he put in at 990,000. Right when he put it in, he got this $41 here. And in two minutes in the pool, uh, four minutes in the pool, he earned $86. Four, just under six minutes in the pool, $400, $500. And look, the liquidity, his balance actually went up by $4,000 too. So if he were to pop out right now, he would have made over $5,000. And we're only in under nine minutes here. Okay, but this is what we really want to look at here is these unclaimed fees because this liquidity, uh, your capital that they put in there is going to fluctuate based on the price of USDC to Ethereum. So what we're really trying to do is, is earn as much in, in unclaimed fees. But look right here, you could you could have jumped out with 4,700 bucks and he's only in the pool for nine minutes. Okay, so if we, I'm just going to speed this up a little further. Um, the price is fluctuating up here because of the price of Ethereum. But in 17 minutes, he ended up with $1,400 here in unclaimed fees. So you can say to yourself, well, Eric, I don't have, you know, I don't have a million dollars to throw into a liquidity pool. Okay, but what if you just had, you know, $100,000? Well, you would have made 150 bucks in 17 minutes. Okay, what if you just had $10,000 to trade with? Well, you would have made you know, uh, about 15 bucks in 17 minutes. So, you know, on $10,000, you can make a living out of this. All right. Now I'm oversimplifying what he did here because this is some of the stuff that I teach in the course, but I can actually get higher earnings than, than returns than this um, just from the magic that I know how to trade and, and, you know, what I do for these different funds. So that's why I got all these different funds that asked me to trade for him. And I know that the 2020 uh, fund, for example, has other products in there that they that they trade, but this is one of the products in there that I trade. It's called LP pools, okay? And if you wanted to learn about how it works, I'm not making this up, okay? This is something that anybody can learn how to do. And um, I have a whole course on it that you can, you can buy. So um, I don't wanna belabor this point, but, um, I will, because I, I, you know, I, there's no point in me going on and on about this, but um, the reason that these, that these pools exist, I will say that is, you know, you have centralized exchanges where you send your money, you wire your money to buy crypto, you know, or you ACH your money in to buy crypto and you can trade on those exchanges, you know, like your, uh, your Kraken is the one that I use in these videos. Okay. Um, and then you have your decentralized exchanges where you put your money uh, into your wallet and you know your cryptocurrency wallet and then you you can swap currency instead of trading currency you you swap currency okay um 
and actually have a little uh, thing on here. Maybe I can pull that up and, and find that to illustrate that. But the point is that when you swap currency out of your wallets, um, you are effectively trading on a DEX exchange, a decentralized exchange. And I explain all this in, in my videos in here. And so you got to have some other means to actually, um, I'll just put this away right now because it's not, not going to be easy for me to find it in here. But um, get rid of that. The point in me sharing this with you is that um, when you try to trade out of your wallets, when you do swaps, you're trading on decentralized exchanges. And so you have to have a different methodology to effectuate a tra uh, trade when you have your cryptocurrency in the custody of your wallet and um, you uh, want to swap it for some other cryptocurrency as opposed to you being on a centralized exchange. So how does that work? Well, that works through exchanges like Uniswap. And when you go to Uniswap, you know, you can, you can trade your one currency for another, for example, get started. I can trade, you know, Ethereum for whatever you want to trade it for, let's say Aave. And you connect your wallet. And the only time that your, your funds leave the custody of your wallet is just during the effectuation of that trade that you want to do. So where is this Ethereum and this Aave coming from? It is coming from the pools so when you connect your wallet um you are uh you can actually put your tokens into these pools and that is what other people are using to trade so let's say i wanted to uh, go into the pool where people want to exchange ethereum for usdc um now there's some details in here i'm not going to get into all that because that you'd have to take my course for that but but basically you can deposit some USDC and some Ethereum in here and you can set a range that you want it to allow people to use it in. And if you tighten down that range, you can earn, you will be earning USDC and Ethereum every time somebody trades, okay? And depending on how tight you make this range here is the more money that you'll earn, but then you have to start watching it more often. So what I'm sharing with you here is, um, something I don't think you're ever going to see in a space that you guys trade in. And that is the underpinnings of how the trades are actually done. Okay. So who else in the space is going to literally show you how this is done? You know, well, I'm willing to show you how it's done because I can still out trade you. You'd still rather be <laughs> in the 2020, 2020 fund, even though it's not hard for you to learn how to do it yourself by taking the course. Okay. So, um, that's how the trading is done. There's no magic to this, except for the fact that, as I said, um, I can just do it better than you can. I can get more money out of it and I can relieve you of the uh, um, burden of having to learn how to do it yourself, which, you know, for some people might be, might be burdensome. So yeah. Okay, great. So here, Terrence already put the link in for the course. If you want to learn how I do it, um, but I think it's better to just jump into, um, if you don't want to have to do any of that, you know, you just want to earn money, obviously just jump into the 2020, uh, product, um, that it has to do with the liquidity pools and, and just rock, you know, earn the money while you sleep. Look, the beauty of this is that we're not going to ever be in it. The, the, the amount of money that you earn in liquidity pools, it might fluctuate from, from month to month between, I mean, it could be as low as, uh, uh, 5% sometimes, um, but that's not common. It's usually 15% a month average throughout the year. And there's going to be some months where it may be much higher than that, maybe um, 30% in one month, you know, in another month that might be 10%. So I try to target at least 10% a month, um, but it's, you know, possible we're going to have some months in there very, very likely that you're going to get 20, 30% in that month. So the money starts coming back to you very rapidly.
So that is uh, what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I'm sorry, my background isn't fancy like uh, Jared's just because I'm actually, uh, my office at my home is being worked on. We're put, adding an addition on the house. So I'm in my 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 wife's crafts room over here. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but that's what I have to share with you guys. So um, get into the 2020 fund. We'll also do some Amber presentations. That's another fund that I trade for. But, but that's how the trading works, guys. Well, Eric, I thank you. I, I appreciate it. Um, you know, I've been around for a long time in the space. You obviously traded things since I was, you know, just chasing girls around thinking about drinking <laughs> booze or something, right? <laughs> You've been you was trading and making real money. <laughs> yeah, so, what was what was funny is that when I was in college, I again went to the University of Colorado for my electrical engineering and computer science degree. And when I was in college, I was working, uh, one of my part-time jobs was working for a broker at Dean Witter. And I was basically cold calling clients for him. And this is how I got into trading because I was sitting in front of a computer while I'm on this phone trying to cold call people, you know, um, just like they did in that movie Wall Street. And I, I could see when I was like, uh, I remember, I'll never forget, I was seven, 17 and a half years old, just started college and working there. And I see these prices flickering on these old computers that they had back then of options getting ready to expire. And I just kept thinking to myself, damn, the, the way those, those prices are flickering, I could make some money right here before these things expire. I mean, wouldn't it be great if I could program a computer to, uh, to somehow make that trade happen real quickly, you know, and boy, a little that I know. And that was when, when trading was in its infancy where people, you know, on people's PCs, the PCs were just starting to come out. I mean, I had a PC, I was a computer geek, you know, I was programming when I was 12. But the thing is that in those days, getting, getting the idea of setting up your home PC and, and getting a market feed and, and programming it to trade something was kind of like Egyptian hieroglyphics. You know, most people would be like, that's, that's impossible. You can't do that. You know? <laughs> so, but I, I was hooked on it and that's all I could think of from that moment on. Uh, and I've, I've had engineering jobs working for Intel, Ford, you know, designing chips and all that. But even during those days, I was always um, meeting with groups that I put together after with other engineers, you know, after work, after college classes saying, hey, we, let's try to crack this nut, you know. So um, uh, options trading is not that straightforward to automate. Imagine selling credit spread finance. <laughs> yeah, um, listen, I've I've been on projects where we programmed options trading, um, but we've done it from the back office of the institution itself. So they have um, uh direct access to APIs and stuff that are that are harder for you to get access to. And nowadays people, I know it's popular for people to use trade station and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't I've tried to use it many times. I'm just not impressed with it. The language is terrible. I it's it produced negative results for me every time I get involved with it. But uh yeah, uh, so the person who wrote that, I agree with that. Um but it is being done. It is being done and especially being done right now, I can tell you for a fact, um, because I know I'm involved in I was just on a project where they were doing a, a massive um, AI uh, programming thing um, involving options. Uh, they were applying it straight to options because now you got the AI clouds. With the AI clouds, a lot of people can, it makes programming these things a lot easier. Um, I mean, it's still difficult, but it's, uh, yeah, it's hard stuff. <clears throat> Wealth charts myself, they're starting a script language themselves. Looks like Visual Basic, yeah. I mean, all the stuff that we write is is in C or C plus plus Java, um, you know, because we have access to the back end, we don't have to go through an API. But uh, even if I did, I'd, I'd still be using, you know, Java or something like that. Just connecting. Even when we trade Forex, uh, I used to use um, a ton of MT fours and MT five stuff, but now we just use that as a connection point. We don't just do everything in another language. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to bore you with all this stuff, but uh, yeah, I've been trading my whole life. That's all I've been. I've been addicted to it. I've written books on it. I've, you know, I just remember back in the in the mid '90s, and people are telling me that's crazy. You can't do that. And now it's just like stuff that's done as a as a basic thing. One of the first things I did in the mid '90s was say, why don't we just find, you know, scan all the stocks in the data feed that we can find that are moving in the morning, you know, in the first hour, like they're moving up, and we'll trade those. And people are laughing at me. They're like, you don't have the computing power to find that. You're never going to find all the ones that move. And <laughs> now, that, now that's just like a basic uh, thing that you do as a day trader at any one of these brokerage firms that you sign up with. It's like a basic scanning option that you have, you know. Um, so I just thought that was funny. Back in those days, it was a big deal, you know. So That's good.
Well, thank you, sir. I, I, I appreciate it. You know, so, you know, there's, like I said, we've been around tons of projects, tons of projects. Um, but it is a pleasure of mine to get to meet one of the traders behind the platform. And just in case nobody had been paying attention to the platform until today, um, I'll show you a couple things on the website, but I don't want to keep you long. You can go back and look at the probably 40 videos I've done over the past four or five months. Um, you know, they do a number of different things with AI, trading bots, seamless, efficient, profitable experience. Um, and the the biggest things about it, let me show you folks, is that they've been online for 129 days. And folks, you know that stuff like this, man, you know, you start thinking like, is it really going to last? How long is it going to be around? Um, but four months going on five months is strong in my personal opinion. And then now you come to find out why you got Eric Majors, a trader that's been trading for many years in the background with multiple different ways to make this successful. And then folks, if you're in their telegram, they've showed options trades. They also have their, um, their uh, stock trades that are showing in the telegram every single day. So it's multiple ways to make this thing work but now you've had an opportunity to meet one of the traders. Now folks, 2020 fund has four different packages. You can get in a savers fund for just $20, $20 folks. And that's gonna give you the 1% per day. Now these are all business days, Monday through Friday, because although Eric is doing the liquidity pools, and honestly, I don't even know if that's, yeah, it's probably crypto, it's probably seven days a week. I, that would be my assumption, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, Forex yeah, 24 seven. Okay, so 24 seven. And obviously, seven. there's there's a lot of other things being traded in that 2020 20 fund. So it's not just me, but yeah. Correct, correct, correct. So yeah, I was just putting things in perspective as I was thinking about it all. But yeah, they do five business days a week. The plans are business days. You make 20% every 20 business days while you're in this plan. And so it, it is a one time every 20 business days, which is like about a month you'll get that dropped in your account so you can withdraw it. And then if you want to make a little bit more, 1.1% a day, 2,000 minimum, that's 22% every 20 business days. The Entrepreneur's Fund is where I came in from the first day and I dropped 25,000 in this thing, right? And I'm so happy because I've ROI'd in it, you know? And like, nobody's talking about this project, right? And so- um, then if you got, you know, a hundred thousand or more, you're going to get 1.3% daily. It's 26% every 20 business days. Now, folks, all plans are locked up for 90 days. These are business trading days. So your seed capital will be released to you after 90 trading days, even, which is still phenomenal. Um, a lot of projects, you're not even going to get the capital back or you're going to have to buy another package. And if you are a referrer or link sharer, there is a referral system, folks. The way it works is level one is 5%, levels two through five are 1%, levels six through 10 are a half a percent, and levels 11 through 20 are 0.25%. So it's not crazy referrals, but if you build this out and build a team with a real trader, with a platform that has some longevity in it, five months, a lot longer than most of this stuff out here, and seems to still be growing strong, folks. So um, it's only paying out about 12 or 13% down all of those levels, which is, in my personal opinion, sustainable based on the things that I have seen in this space. So folks, um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my link of two, uh, which I'm gonna call it in here, uh, in the background, but folks, you have a couple of different options. So you can buy Eric's course today. The link is down in there in the description. I'm also going to put it in the description of the YouTube video. I bought it myself as well. Now, folks, I'll be honest with you. I'm busy. I can't tell you when I'm going to have a chance to take it, but you guys know that I like taking courses. I like learning, um, but it's all about a matter of time. And now you may be thinking the same thing right now, like, well, I ain't got the time to buy the course. Fine. Well, you can get involved directly in 2020 fund today. And then folks also, Eric, uh, he didn't really get into it today, 
but he has his own trading fund as well too through Arbor Sisters, Amber Systems, I'm so sorry, um, where you can get started uh, in his fund as well directly. So if you feel like, well, shoot, you done told me, you know, Eric now, he's real. I know how to get in contact with him. I'll just take my money directly to Eric. Go ahead. Go, go right ahead. <laughs> you know? I completely he, forgot he, to mention I, that. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. You know, sorry, 2020, 20 fund, you know, but in the same token, you know, this is a person that's real. You can reach out to, you can touch them. You can take the course, learn it yourself. You can have 2020, 20 fund trade for you and you have a way to reach him directly. Eric, so how do people get in contact with you directly or you don't want that? Did I go too far or, you know, no, uh, you can, I'll, I'll pop an email address in here, but I will say okay. this, that if you want uh, for me to trade for you directly, I mean, it's gotta be over, I mean, a lot of money. It's not worth it for me to trade to people. At least um, I'm going to say for your group, yeah. uh, at least 70,000. But I mean, I, I usually don't trade for people for more or less than, you know, $200,000. And, and I don't have a hand people, a handful of people I'm willing to do it for because, you know, so, so um, yeah, you know, if you want me to trade for you directly, it's just a different deal, you know, and, and I'm willing to do that, but it's got to be, it's got to be worth it, yeah. you know, some people yeah, want yeah, to yeah, yeah. Then that's why we have the fund, 2020-20 and things like that, because if people who want to put in less money, you can't afford to put in $100,000, you can understand, I can't just sit here and say, oh, 10000 here and 10000 I'm not, I'm not in that business. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> cool. I mean, a private money fund that we manage right now is like uh, uh, 50, four point. Uh, Four point six million dollars of just private money. That's just that's just a, a private family, a piece of their their money, you know. So you know, it's got to be worth it. Got to be worth it, folks. There it is. So here it is. You got seventy racks, or you know, you come into the table with sixty nine thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars. I'm sure Eric will say, <laughs> "Okay, close enough." But if, if you ain't in that ballpark, <laughs> don't even reach out to them, folks. Seriously, come through 2020 20 fun and get it done or buy the course and learn to do it yourself. But um, this has been a powerful call with you today, Eric. I thank you. Um, you know, everybody's looking for knowledge. Everybody's looking for self-empowerment, but also just about everybody I know needs to make some more money. And if you can't figure out a way from this call to learn it for yourself, uh, put it in 2020 fund or get with Eric, I don't know which more you really want to do. You know, but thank you so much for coming on the call today, Eric. Appreciate you, uh, Terrence. I really do. Yes, sir. We'll do this again, too, man. I need to get you back on here again. So um, I like to see you more often, you know, uh, like and like. <laughs> well, we have something in common. We like to trade. And I know you're really good at options trading. I've seen you uh, trade uh, and you like to talk with you about that all the time. So once you get yeah. to start talking about trading, you know, <laughs> we're, it's, it's, that's it's, my friends. Yeah, it's all good, man. That's what we do. But yes, well, right. thank you, Eric. I do appreciate it, my man. But um, I'll see you again in another seven or 14 days. All right. God bless you, man. Take it Bless easy. you as well. Peace. All right. All right.